Okay, real quick, I'm going to go over uh, how to make dialog boxes. This is going to help us whenever we're doing our multiplayer. Now, what you do is what I've done here is I've got three questions, and I've kind of stored, you know, what happens from the dialog command in each one of them. And of course, you know, it, it's a it's going to return a true or or false, whether or not it. Uh, <clears throat> you get the question right or not. Um, the first parameter is what you want to display in the, in the text. There, there's two two of the text. I'll, I'll show you exactly where they're going to be at. Okay, there's the text at the top, and then there's the text kind of inside the little box. And there, there's there's many ways to do this, but I've just done the, the yes and no, because that's all I need right now. Anyways, uh, what this second parameter is, is um, I put one, that's the yes and no questions. I think that there's one that is like, it just disappears after a while, and another one is like confirm or cancel, and there's there's a lot of different ones. They all basically do the same thing though. And then you have your second text, the stuff that's at the top. And then your last parameter is how long It'll stay open before closing, and like most of the uh, the commands, zero is kind of the default. Zero means that uh, it'll just keep on, it'll just stay there forever. And well, let's get down to, this is just, I said, you know, if each of these equals one, that's if you answer all of the questions yes, then you print when, or else you print lose.